All right, fam, we are moving into our uh, hypertrophy programming, right? We're trying to build muscle mass, trying to encourage loss of body fat. It's particularly the case because um, summer's coming and people are thinking about those things more. And so one of the messages I wanna really deliver uh, consistently is that we need to um, identify what kind of things we're going to take on, what kind of behaviors we're gonna change and take on to increase our likelihood of success for losing body fat and building muscle. Um, showing up to the gym and just working out is not going to be um, sufficient for more intermediate advanced people. We need to pull in other behaviors. And so what I want you guys to begin doing is thinking about what it is in your lifestyle that you're willing to change to support uh, your goal of losing body fat and building muscle. Exercise alone for more, advanced, for more experienced people often is not the solution by itself. So you're gonna drive to the gym, but then what are you gonna do when you're in the gym? And then what are you gonna do when you're not in the gym? You know, the hour uh, or two that you spend in a gym is nowhere near as powerful for, for body composition goals as all the hours you spend outside of the gym. And all of us have behaviors. We all have routines that no longer serve us. And we know it. We're, we're, many of us are very aware of the things that we're still doing that are not um, helping us get to where we say we wanna go. So we have to also ask ourselves, what are we willing to sacrifice, even if it's temporary, right? What are we willing to sacrifice? What kind of discomfort am I willing to endure to actually change the state that I am experiencing? Because ultimately, to, to reach these goals, we have to have a different mind and we have to have a different body. And in order to do that, we have to change a lifestyle because all of us, our bodies and our minds are a direct reflection of the life we've been living for years and perhaps decades. And my last piece of advice is make sure that the motivations are high. On a scale of one to 10, if you um, are not motivated to change something, then there's no real point in you taking it on right now. So identify things that are a seven out of 10 or higher level of motivation for you, and then work with your coaches and your tribe to actually change those things.